He said to make money insanely quickly in Forza Horizon 5 as of 2024. Now, quite a few methods I've shown in the past have been patched. I've always come up with new ones as quickly as possible. And this one is definitely one of the best ones we've ever seen in Forza Horizon 5. So stay around to the end as I'll be showing a new tip you might not have seen even if you've managed to see this glitch somewhere before. So guys, let's go on and get started because exactly what you need to be able to start with this glitch. So the best car you will want to go in and use for this is going to be the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. Now the reason why this car is so good is of course, like many of these glitches, it's very important you have a Forza Edition of some kind, particularly a skills boost. It's definitely going to be the best, and not to mention this car is an absolute monster. It's extremely quick in terms of 0 to 100, and even going around a track. Not that this will be necessary entirely for this method. So first off, let's go and head to the actual car mastery, and max out virtually all of the perks. Now in terms of tune, it doesn't really matter what you use, it can be default, I just say something Something pretty quick in a straight line would be very optimal for this kind of config and you also be ready to go so once you have the Lambo Sestor Mento 4 tradition you're good to go now in terms of two other cars you could also use if you don't actually have this car the Bugatti Huara BC 4 tradition would also be a very good boost although it's not quite as good as well as the car being the Mercedes AMG CLK GTR 4 tradition so feel free to use any of these three cars if you don't have any three use any car that's fast until you guys manage to get the Sestor Elemento so now let's go ahead to the creative hub the event lab and search for this event blueprint code now the code has recently changed it's 181492472 pretty much as a quick sprint just after i initially recorded this video the glitch changed to a new blueprint as i just said it then the concept i'm showing on screen is slightly different but an identical process you guys will be able to follow so in terms of difficulty settings copy what i've got pretty much assisted in terms of braking auto steering traction stability on automatic as soon as you guys have done that you're good to go start the race all you need to do is hold down the accelerator with those configuration of the settings it'll do the rest for you it'll pretty much drive straight get a huge amount of skill points from accumulating destroying all of these destructible objects now one thing to keep in mind you also see your skill tree will start to go crazy now for every single lap you do of this event you'll earn 10 skill points now by the end of it you might be thinking well it doesn't appear like my skill train is high enough up for me to even be able to get 10 skill points or in other words cross the threshold where i've set 70,000 plus skill points within my one chain. Well guys, the reason why it might seem a little bit as if you're actually not earning as many skill points on screen as you really are, is actually due to the fact because you're earning skill points significantly faster than what can even show on screen. So it's a little bit deceiving, you're actually earning more than what you'll expect. You can simply go X, restart, go right into another lap and keep going. This is the huge advantage of this actual glitch. You don't need to wait, finish one event, go back in the creative hub, find the event, load it again, finish one lap, restart, you ride another one. You can easy and on average around 20 skill points per minute you guys within an hour you're easily hitting your actual skill point limit after just one hour it's extremely easy to do it's effective like i said before occasionally some of the blueprint codes or the actual event blueprints will change very easy to be able to adapt to a new one keep going and sort it out from there but let's say you guys have earned let's say two three hundred even up to a thousand skill points now let's talk about how you guys can go and convert these all into super wheel spins this is where the auction house or the overall auto show will come in play now i'll be showing a few guys you guys can use to be able to convert these skill points into credits on both the auction house as well as ones you can just buy if you don't have to go through the hassle of using the auction house so the first car will of course be showing is going to be the zenvo tsr s now this car is very good one downside it's pretty expensive to obtain the auction house and the first thing i'll point out in the auction house is very very important is you want to watch out for one seller who's listing up a bunch of these you pretty much want to avoid any car if it's going to be a duplicate seller so for example you see one seller listing up 20 of these you already know is using this method don't buy them look out for a unique car with default or stock painter stock tuner the car is bone stock no upgrades the reason why i say that is because if you guys manage to buy a car and this skill perks have already been used by the seller when you guys buy the car you won't be able to use the perks again so i'll choose this one it looks to be pretty good so basically you want to look at aspects of the car that show the high likelihood it's hardly even been touched by the buyer if they've got a custom tune they've got a custom upgrade onto it you already know there's a very good chance they've actually used the car and therefore use the skill perk like if you see someone listing up 10 of these at once you already know what's doing this to accumulate skill points he's definitely going to have used those perks let's go ahead and check the car i just bought now the zenvo is some of the best perks in the game and of course you might be wondering well what happened to the credits i spent buying the car is it really worth spending a million credits for two uh, two super wheel spins well yes guys because only you get one super wheel spin credits and two super wheel spins from just the perks alone you can then resell the car make almost all of your credits back and rinse and repeat so overall you'll hugely be in the green or in other words a profit and there are various cars you can do for this for example beauty devo very similar concept i want the reason why i like the devo is because they're cheaper to get easier in case you find a car where the perks haven't been used you can absorb the loss a little bit easier 
Now, just quickly, guys, if you haven't got so many credits, if you will spend skill points and more, you already know because I'm on a Forza into delivery modded account from Mitchell's.com, and you guys can get one too. We can apply this to an existing account of yours. You have a credit packs, rare car packs, and more with over 10,000 trust pilot reviews. We even have a GTA 5, Call of Duty, and Red Dead Redemption 2 packages and more on our website at MitchCards.com. Like I said, guys, 10K plus reviews, the biggest in the game. Go on and check it out. Link in the description if you want to skip out on the grind and simply get some credits instantaneously. Now, if you guys follow the steps I've been showing in the auction house, it'll be an easy 80% success rate plus. I see a lot of people talking about the fact that it hasn't worked for them. Most of the time, they go in the auction house, they're buying the first car they see. Of course, you're running into a trap that perks 100% of what been used if you don't actually care to look for a car or with a good deal, of course, having the characteristics that I previously described, but another car I'll be recommending is going to be the Lola 1969. This car is very good. You can actually buy it straight off of the auto show, and you can also, again, buy it off the auction house if you want to find one for a little bit more affordable, but just to put that into perspective. Now, another car you guys can also use, the Nissan Fair Lady Z Forza Edition. You can buy this off the auction house. They have one super wheel spin and one normal wheel spin. Very easy and affordable. I won't go over through every single car because the process is generally the same. You guys can figure that out. Have a little bit of a play with it by yourself, but enjoy. Hope this works for you. Like and subscribe and comment down below what kind of money you made from using this glitch.